so I've decided to change up the let's translate a bit. Rather than me looking at something that I've never seen before and forcing my way through it, I'm going to take a passage I've already spent some time with to look at individual sentences and show you how you can guess, or rather make reasonable assumptions about what the words you don't know actually mean, without looking them up. This will be mainly in Italian, but I might attempt some French in the not too distant future. We're starting with this paragraph from National Geographic in Italian. There will be a link to the whole page in the description. This is about how to recognise real Italian ice cream, or gelato. And this paragraph is a little way down the page, which gives you the answer to the article's main question. So, la differenza tra gelato artigianale e confezionato. The difference between, so, artigianale, if you don't know the word, is very similar to the English artisanal, which basically means made in the traditional way. And confezionato, although it sounds like confection, which is another word for something sweet in English. In this case, it's kind of a false friend, because confezionare is to manufacture, and in this situation is most likely to be translated as something like mass-produced. Now, even if you didn't know this, given the context of the article, you could probably guess it, because what is the opposite to artisanal? not made in traditional ways, which mass-produced items usually aren't. Nel gelato artigianale italiano c'è al massimo 1.8% di grassi del latte, spiega Diletta Poggiale, insegnante della Carpigiane Gelato University, fuori Bologna. Nel gelato confezionato, gene fino al 15%, afferma. So, in Italian artisanal ice cream, there is al massimo, very similar to maximum, meaning at most 1.8% of grassi del latte. Well, grassi sounds very much like grease. And what kind of grease is there in milk? Milk fats, explains Diletta Poggiale, teacher at the Carpigiane Gelato University, outside of Bologna. In mass-produced ice cream, there is Cenefino al 15%. So fino is end. And putting this together, you get finishing at 15% of it, so up to 15% fat in mass-produced ice cream. Il gelato confezionato si conserva in congelatori a meno 18 gradi centigradi, mentre il gelato artigianale è preferibile servirlo a meno 12 gradi centigradi. The mass-produced ice cream si conserva, similar to conserved, so is kept in, well, if you didn't know a congelatore was a freezer, you could easily guess it, because the ice cream is being kept at minus 18 degrees centigrade, whilst the artisanal ice cream is preferibile, preferably, better, served at minus 12 degrees centigrade. In questo, inoltre, viene incorporata meno aria. Il limite massimo è 30% rispetto al 80% del gelato industriale. Quindi, 
è anche più denso e il suo gusto molto più intenso. In this, meaning the artisanal ice cream, as that was the last one mentioned. Inoltre, if you don't know this compound word, just break it down. In and oltre, in and over, or as well. So in addition, viene incorporata meno aria, comes incorporated less air. That's a little clumsy in English, but the meaning should be clear enough. It's less aerated, so has more substance to it. Il limite massimo, the upper limit, is 30%. Rispetto al, with respect to, or compared to might be better. 80% for industrial ice cream. And just to confirm what I just said, quindi è anche più denso, e il suo gusto molto più intenso. So, it is also more dense, less air, and the gusto, I'm going to assume most people would know, the taste, is much more intense. There's a lot more you can read about gelato italiano here, if you want. And you definitely want to pay attention to the gelato per turisti section. You'll find out what pistachio ice cream and banana ice cream really should look like. And further down that gelato doesn't only mean ice cream, but also sorbet. Until next time. <laughs>